So I finished watching Hamster and Gretel episode 10. This is actually a two-parter in the sense that 1A, uh, sorry, 10A and 10B are telling the same story continuously, if that makes sense. Um, but the episode title being UF Uh-O. So they're on a family vacation in Vegas. And of course, um, this is the episode where Greta finally realizes that like, Kevin, you know, feels left out for the fact that he doesn't have powers. So it took her a while to realize that, but she finally does realize it. But also, I think the their sibling relationship is much better at the end of the episode because because not only does Gretchen now realize that about Kevin, but Kevin also is much more accepting of the fact that he doesn't have powers. Probably because they're more confused on what's going on with the aliens because they learned that um, the Destructress and F- um, Fist Puncher, th- they learned that they get their powers from the aliens, finally. And that they were told to do it for evil. So they're like, is this some kind of weird alien game? Like, they're wondering what is going on. And we're still wondering what is going on as well. Especially with the aliens, like, got, like, a rock that sucks out, sucks power. Like, they got from a catalog. And then, like, who knows what's going on. Why do I have the feeling that these are just some ali- bored aliens? That's part of what's going to be, which I think would be hilarious. Um... But going back to the episode itself, I did kind of cover, I think, and show the emotional heartbeat of the episode, which I really did pre- enjoy. But let's talk about the um, B plot with um, with the parents who, you know, in the adult-only swimming pool and get bored of it and, just, and try to sneak into the the kid and adult pool. <laughs> so parents and adults, more, uh, parents and kids to be more accurate. But it's just so hilarious. It's kind of like... The reverse of a common trend where you will see, um, see, you know, a kid is trying to sneak into an adult on the area. And in this case, it's them trying to sneak into an area they can only go if they had their kids with them, which I think was just a hilarious, um, bait and switch, if you will. And um, probably not the best description of it, but I think it's, it suffices. Or should we even mention how Hamzo, he, he goes to, he goes and wins a goldfish tournament at, one, at the start of the episode. It's just so hilarious. I did thoroughly enjoy this episode. Granted, I think nothing can beat the joke at the end of 9B, but I mean, that's pretty good. But this one really advances what I think they're trying to tell with an ongoing plot, wherever that's going to end up being. But those are just my thoughts. I would love to hear yours in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching this video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, upvote, and share the video. Also consider subscribing and following the channel if you haven't done so yet, and to ring that bell on YouTube to get notified of when new videos release. The link tree in the description links to all my social media, check it out if you are interested, and once again, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good day, a good night, wherever you are, may the force be with you, always. <laughs>